Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. It's nice to be back again. Thank you, thank you so much for always coming back to watch all my videos. I really appreciate your time and effort for supporting me. So for today, I will be sharing or discussing to you my inputs about the idea or the psychology of being alone. I know that nobody wants to be alone because it's somewhat scary, it's difficult, and it's very challenging. Yes, it's true. But being alone, I know that it is considered as a negative state of being. It's negative because you are just doing something for yourself. It creates a social stigma. You feel self-isolated. You feel that you are not part of the social world. That's why nobody wants to be alone. One of the reasons why we are feeling that way is because of social media. Social media gives us the impression for me, it's a wrong impression that as long as we have a thousand of digital friends, a thousand of likes, you are doing okay. We always think that without this connection, without your digital friends, you feel anxious, you feel scared that you are alone, that you are left behind. If we keep on focusing ourselves on this kind of communication, it deprives us of having a real human interaction. We always thought that being alone and being lonely, they are just the same. In psychological perspective, no, they are not the same, they are not equal. We know that being alone is somewhat scary. It's scary because you are doing your own thing. You are deciding for your own self. You are creating a career for your own self. You don't depend yourself to another person. And for me, it's very difficult. It's very challenging. It's very hard. But if ever you know how to handle yourself well, if you are good at handling yourself well, it will serve as a cornerstone of development and growth as a human being. For me, it's a good thing. It's nice to be alone as long as you know how to handle yourself very well. You know how to trust your inner voices, your beliefs, your decision, yourself. You are good at it. And you know how to use that idea for personal growth and development. It's a positive thing. Being alone also gives you the freedom to think about yourself. Being alone gives you the courage to face any problems that you will be encountering in the future. And it takes a lot of courage to do that. It's not easy. When you talk about loneliness, it's a different thing. Being lonely or the sense of being lonely, it is a painful reminder of your negative past experiences. You feel rejected, you feel unloved, you are uncared, that's why you feel lonely. That's why a lot of people would say, I am alone, yes, but I am not lonely. Why is it I am not lonely? Because I have strong social connection. I have my family with me. I have a strong social support. I have my friends and I am happy. I am contented with me being alone. But as we all know that too much of everything is bad. Too much of spending time just being alone can also affect our physical health, emotional health, psychological health. That's why it is very important to maintain strong social connection, even if you prefer to be alone. Because it's nice if sometimes we experience the sense of being alone, but it's also nice to maintain your social bond with your family, friends, and other social support. It's one way for you to help build your own sense of self-belongingness. And for me, that is very important. A lot of researchers would say that building or having a strong social connections has a strong and positive influence on our physical and human development.